sitting on the world's last remaining flight worthy B-29 Super Fortress. We are going to take off soon. We're super excited and it should be a great flight. So keep watching. Day three here at Sun and Fun. I am actually about to board this 85 Sky Raider. I'm so excited. We're gonna go up. Hopefully you'll hot dog it a little bit, do a couple of crazy maneuvers. I've been excited about it. I could barely sleep last night. So I'll let you guys know how it goes when we get back. Stuart from Cavanaugh Flight Museum is gonna be our pilot today and I'm gonna be the co-pilot. Yeah! Saddest day here at Sun and Fun. It's the last day. Everybody's packing up their airplanes. They're getting ready to leave. We've already had a lot of aircraft to leave. We have had an amazing time here at Sun and Fun, and we just want to thank everyone at Sun and Fun and all the volunteers for everything that they did for us to help us get rides and some amazing aircraft and get us some interviews with some really great people. If you didn't make it to Sun and Fun 2014, mark it on your calendar. Come to Sun and Fun 2015 in Lakeland, Florida. You don't know what you're missing. This is Julie Christie signing off at Sun and Fun for Tab TV. I'm here with David Oliver. David is a member of the Commemorative Air Force. So David, tell us a little bit about Fifi. Now who came up with the name? Yeah, this is, I mean, the world's only flying B-29 Super Fortress. And it's actually named Fifi, which wasn't a combat name that the aircraft was given. It was actually, uh, the crew named it Fifi because of one of the major benefactors who got the aircraft out of the desert in the 1970s. His name was uh, Colonel Vic Agather, and uh, his wife was actually named Fifi, and so the crew named uh, the airplane Fifi in her honor. So have you ever had the opportunity to take a World War II B-29 veteran on a flight in Fifi? Wow, it seems like I get to take a veteran up about at least once a week. We go wow. to stops all across America, and uh, the airplane right now is touring here in Florida, and I bet we've seen so many vets that have come out. Some of them, unfortunately, probably in a wheelchair or, or, or yeah. in the later stages of their life. Uh, but some of them are still real spry and they climb right up that ladder <laughs> and jump right in the airplane and say, let's go. <laughs> That's great. Now, tell me this, when, when you fly in Fifi, okay, how many gallons of fuel do you burn per hour? Is, is it painful to talk about? <laughs> it is painful. When you, when you measure in the thousands of dollars per hour, then it's definitely difficult wow. to, to swallow the numbers. But the uh, the engines that you see behind us here, uh, they, they use about, the airplane uses about 400 gallons of fuel per hour. Oh, wow. Tell it, me your most memorable moment with the plane. Yeah, I think my most memorable uh -huh. moment probably had to, to, to happen when we did fly a particular veteran who was really hesitant to get in the airplane. And I think his uh, daughter had bought him a seat and a flight, and uh, he really didn't want to do it because I think he associates so many memories of the war with the airplane. Yeah. But when he got in it and when we first started up those engines, you know, and everything, the, the smoke and the smell and the rumble and everything just reminded him of so many of his brothers that I think went to war with him. Yeah. And so the tears just started coming and uh, you know, he welled up and really just kind of broke down. And it was neat to see kind of that emotional aspect of the airplane and just how important it really is to our American history. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you very much for talking with us today. Yeah, thank and, you very uh, much, Julie. Good luck on your flight. Fifi is a flying tribute to the men and women who built these aircraft, as well as the brave men who flew them into battle. We would like to offer a special thanks to the dedicated members of the Commemorative Air Force who keep these aircraft flying for future generations to learn from and enjoy.
myself a red jack